This Rhino Rack Vortec SG two bar roof rack is for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 four door JK or 2007 to 2010 two door JK that are looking for a removable roof rack that you can add right onto that hard top without the need to drill anything. And that's really the big benefit to this rack. Some of the other ones that you mount to your hard top do require drilling. Other roof racks that you can get that don't mount to your hard top at all, actually mount to the chassis and to the body of the Jeep, they're going to be a lot more bulky. If you like that look, that's certainly an option for you, but if you want something a little bit sleeker, this is gonna be a great choice and it doesn't require that drilling. So this is gonna be a one out of three wrench installation where one that requires drilling would be much more difficult. This is a nice easy install. These are gonna be removable without leaving any lasting marks on your hardtop. We'll talk a little bit more about the installation in just a second. So the benefit to a roof rack in general is the ability to, to carry some larger items that you otherwise wouldn't be able to put inside of your vehicle. So when you have these racks, up, you can put a bike, a kayak, uh, building materials, whatever you want up on top of the roof of your Jeep without damaging the hardtop. And this is actually going to provide a little bit more strength than just laying things directly on the hardtop. So again, this is going to give you the ability to carry that larger cargo and not have to drill into your top. So while this is going to be a little bit pricey for really just two bars and the mounting points, because it has all those benefits, I do think it is going to be worth the cost for a lot of you. What you're going to get in this kit is the two crossbars and you're also going to get four of these and this is going to be the bracket section. So this actually attaches onto the rain gutter of the Jeep and then the bars go in between those. So two brackets per bar, four brackets total, and that's going to make up this, this whole uh, roof rack system for you. So if you're just going to be laying larger items on top of this and uh, strapping to these, that's all you're really going to need. If you're going to be running a specific kayak rack or a bike rack, you do have uh, slots in these, T-slots, so that you can put any type of mounting bracket that uses that T-style hardware right onto this rack. So you're gonna have a lot of flexibility there. Of course, Rhino Rack is going to offer a couple of different bolt-on um, additions so that you can have some specific mounts for some specific items. Now, when you have a set of bars like this, one of the big concerns is going to be wind noise. Now, Rhino Rack has done a really nice job of eliminating that as much as possible. They're going to have a couple of different pieces that come in the box that you're gonna use during this installation that are there specifically to eliminate any sort of whistle or any other wind noise. These two crossbars and the hardware that you need to get it mounted on your Jeep is gonna run you right around $270. And at first, that seems like a lot to me, but when you consider all of the functionality that you're getting with this and the fact that you don't need to drill into your hardtop, I do think that this is going to be worth it. Now, a member of the install team will show you how to get this installed on your JK. So first step, we're gonna assemble our support legs. You're provided with security bolts, so we're gonna put a lock washer and a washer on each one of these. We're gonna take the rubber strips provided and we're gonna install those on the bottom of the foot. After that's on, we're gonna take our bracket, we're gonna orient that so that it covers this bottom edge, and then we're gonna take this section here and we're gonna install that like that. So we're gonna take our bolts and we're gonna send them up through these two pieces and we're gonna screw them into the support leg. So once you have these bolts screwed part of the way in, you're gonna go and do that for all of them. Then we're gonna attach them to the crossbars. So same thing goes for these. We're gonna attach our rubber strip. Then you're gonna place your bracket so that it faces and covers this side. And then we're gonna attach our other section onto that.
So the next step, we're gonna take our support feet and we're gonna attach those to the crossbars. So we're gonna take a crossbar and we're gonna go ahead and slide these ends in. So once we get that end in, you're gonna take the provided Phillips head screws and we're gonna install those in the bottom. So after you have both of these ends in and the screws are in, we're going to go ahead and do our other one. And once you have this side in, you can go ahead and install your screw in the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing for the other side of this one. So after you have all of those screwed in place, we're going to flip these back over and then we'll install our rubber strips and these rails. So these are just going to press in there. We'll just work our way down. So we do have a little gap here. We're going to install the rubber stripping in the other one. Then we're gonna cut pieces to fit and fill those gaps. So with our leftover piece of rubber stripping, we're going to cut two sections to fill in these gaps. So now that we have both of these assembled, we're ready to install them on our Wrangler. You'll notice on the bottom that one is designated for the front and the other is designated for the rear. So we're gonna lift this edge up and we want this rubber to fit inside of this seam. So we're gonna push that to the inside so that it sits down in this drip, drip edge and then this is gonna hold it tight. Now we're gonna move and do our rear section. We're gonna pull this edge back and sit that down in the seam. So we're ready to tighten these down. The nice thing about these is they can be positioned pretty much wherever you want. Once you find a nice spot, you can use the provided tool and we'll tighten them down. A good thing to keep in mind when you're tightening these down is to go back and forth so that they tighten evenly.
So with everything adjusted and tightened up, that wraps up our review and install. For more videos like this, check us out at ExtremeTerrain.com.